what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys checking out this video it was recommended to me about world war one 1914 uh off the channel epic history gonna check this out because y'all know i was i was in shock to see and know that there are still bombs explosives out there that are still pretty much active and still working out there um in europe and that that shocked me to know and i know some of y'all y'all like hey check out world war one and i think they have a couple of series i think they have about maybe seven six seven episodes just you know going over world war one things like that so definitely had to check this out uh it's on a major channel it might get blocked you know if it does i would just put something over it you know no worries but hopefully it don't get blocked you know given that it's given some so information on the history so but these this is always interesting because you know we go over in school we talked about world war one two all those things like that but i feel like we don't go into super detail about certain things so definitely gonna be interested to learn uh y'all actually y'all might not even hear me talk too much on this one but you know just gonna be interested in knowing and learning a little bit more about world war one 1914 y'all hit that subscribe button send out more recommendations and to check out some epic history divided into two rival alliances, the Triple Entente. France, Britain and Russia, united by fear and suspicion of Germany, Europe's new strongest power. And the Triple Alliance, Germany, which fears encirclement by its rivals, Austro-Hungary, clinging on to a fragile empire, and Italy, seeking gains at French mm -hmm. expense. The spark comes on the 28th of June, in the city of Sarajevo. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, is assassinated by a 19-year-old Slav nationalist oh, named Gavrilo Princip. Austro-Hungary accuses its Balkan rival Serbia of having aided the assassin, and sends an ultimatum, demanding humiliating concessions. Mm. Serbia rejects the ultimatum, and Austro-Hungary declares war. Within hours, Austrian forces are shelling Belgrade. Oh, man. The Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, feels honor bound to defend Serbia, a fellow Slav nation, and orders the Russian army to mobilize. German Emperor Wilhelm II has promised his support to Austro-Hungary, he and his generals see conflict with Russia as inevitable, and the sooner the better, as Russian strength grows year on year. Russian mobilization is used to justify German mm. mobilization, followed by a declaration of war on Russia. Germany knows war with Russia means war with Russia's ally, France. It has developed the Schlieffen Plan to meet this threat of a war on two Dang. fronts. First, its armies will advance rapidly through neutral Belgium to encircle and destroy French armies near Paris and win a quick victory. Then its forces can move east to deal with Russia, whose huge army will take much longer to mobilize. Oh, dang, they had to worry about their front side and their back side on this one. And I, uh, from the looks of Russia being so big, I know this, this probably took a while to deal with Russia. East to deal with Russia whose huge army will take much mm -hmm. longer to mobilize. And so Germany declares war on France. Six million men are now marching to war across Europe. Dang. Italy, however, remains neutral. The terms of the Triple Alliance don't bind it to join an offensive war. The United States also declares its neutrality. President Wilson and the American public have no desire to get entangled in Europe's war. Britain is France's ally, but at first it's not clear if it will join the war against Germany. But when German troops invade Belgium, whose neutrality Britain has guaranteed, 
an ultimatum is sent from London to Berlin, demanding they withdraw. It's ignored, and Britain declares war. Dang. So pretty much it was almost all of Europe versus Germany. Austria, Hungary. Uh, we'll see. I ain't heard too much about them before. Britain declares war. war. A British expeditionary mm. force lands in France, while the German invasion is held up for crucial days by Belgian resistance at the fortress city of mm. Liège. German troops commit several massacres against Belgian civilians. Mm. The atrocities are inflated by Allied propaganda and help turn public opinion in neutral countries against Germany. France, unaware of Germany's great encircling attack, launches Plan 17, an offensive into German territory. But in the Battle of the Frontiers, they're driven back with enormous losses on both Dang. sides. The British expeditionary force clashes with the German army at Mons. But the British are heavily outnumbered and soon join the French in retreat. The Allies make their stand at the River Marne, 40 miles outside Paris. Their desperate counterattack saves the city and drives the Germans mm. back. Both sides suffer a quarter of a million casualties. Oh my gosh. The race to the sea begins as both sides try to outflank each other to the north. A series of clashes leads to the First Battle of Ypres, where the Allies desperately cling on and prevent a German breakthrough. There are more heavy losses on both sides. The two armies mm. then dig in along the entire 350-mile front, seeking shelter from deadly machine gun fire and artillery shells. Trench warfare has begun. Man, and I know that took. I know that takes a while. Cause I forgot I was watching a movie. You know, it was. It was based off of, you know, it was war related type and stuff like that. And man, a matter of fact, it was Kingsman. If you have seen the last Kingsman, and not trying to relate this to World War One, you know, because I think it might have been compared to one of these, but Kingsman, the last Kingsman movie. It was actually based on war, you know, the one of the generals, he had his son, didn't want him to go on the front front lines or nothing, but his son really wanted to go on the front lines and stuff, and they thought he was one of the traitors or something like that and killed him on the spot, but that trench work is definitely different, definitely serious. But man, Germany had a lot to worry about, you know, they three countries right here, and they still got Russia to deal with. Trench warfare has begun. British warships win the first naval battle of the war at mm. Heligoland Bight, sinking three German cruisers. Hey. Britain has the most powerful navy in the world, 29 modern battleships to Germany's 19. They now impose a naval blockade on Germany, preventing contraband goods, mm. including food, from reaching it by sea. The aim is to bring Germany's economy to its knees and force it to surrender. But a week later, the British cruiser HMS Pathfinder becomes the first victim in history mm. of a lethal new weapon, the submarine-launched torpedo. German submarines, or U-boats, have a surface range of 9,000 miles Ooh. and can attack undetected from beneath the waves. They herald a deadly new challenge to Britain's command of the seas. Oh my gosh. On the Eastern Front, Russian armies invade East Prussia. But they blunder into disaster at the Battle of Tannenberg, where General von Hindenburg and his chief of staff, Erich Ludendorff, mastermind a brilliant like German British. victory taking 90,000 prisoners and destroying an entire Russian oh army. Gosh. The Russians contribute to their own defeat by transmitting uncoded wireless messages. 
A second massive German victory at Masurian Lakes forces the Russians into retreat. In just six weeks, the Russian army suffers nearly a third of a million casualties. Meanwhile, Austro-Hungary's invasion of Serbia suffers a humiliating reverse at the Battle of Tsar. Austro-Hungary's offensive against wow. Russia also ends in disaster and retreat, with the loss of more than 300,000 men. The fortress town of Chemischul is cut off and besieged by the Russians. The Germans are forced to come to the rescue, launching a diversionary attack towards Warsaw. It leads to weeks of brutal winter fighting around the Polish city of Łódź, mm. but there is no clear winner. Meanwhile, the Turkish Ottoman Empire has joined the Central Powers, declaring war on its old enemy, Man. Russia. Turkish warships bombard the Russian ports of Odessa and Sevastopol, while in the Caucasus, Russian troops cross the Turkish frontier. Guess in this one, US Beyond guessing. Europe, the war rages on the world's oceans and in far-flung European colonies. German troops cross into British East Africa, modern Kenya, and occupy Tavata. Mm. While Allied forces seize the German colony of Togoland, modern Togo. But British forces invading German Cameroon are defeated at Garoa and Nsangakong. While a 3,000 strong force attacking German Southwest Africa, modern Namibia, is captured at Sanfontaine. Mm. A month later, British landings at Tanga end in chaos and defeat at the hands of a much smaller German force, led by Colonel von Lettow Vorbeck. Mm. Cut off from Germany, Lettow Vorbeck goes on to wage a highly successful guerrilla war against the Allies, tying down huge numbers of troops. Dang. In Asia, Japan honours its treaty with Britain and declares war on Germany. Oh. Japanese forces go on to seize the German naval base at Tsingtao, the German colonies of Samoa and New Guinea surrender to troops from New Zealand and Man. Australia. But in the Pacific, seemed like Germany had a lot of a lot of places stationed, a lot of people stationed in different places around the world. But man, I feel like that's kind of like how the U.S. is now. Like they, there's a lot of U.S. I would say, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know how to explain. Maybe territories or where they send their troops and stuff to be stationed at. It's a lot now. Troops from New Zealand and Australia. But in the Pacific, off the coast of Chile, German Admiral von Spee's powerful East Asia squadron sinks two British cruisers at the Battle of mm. Coronel. Both ships are lost with all hands. Five weeks later, he runs into a British naval task force at the Falkland Islands. Four of the five German cruisers are sunk. Man. Von Spee goes down with his flagship. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, British troops seize control of the Ottoman port of Basra, securing access to the vital Persian oil that fuels the British fleet. Man. That winter, Austrian troops finally capture Belgrade. But the Serbs then counterattack and drive them back once more. The fighting in Serbia has already cost around 200,000 oh. casualties on each side. In the North Sea, German warships mount a hit and run raid against English coastal towns, shelling Hartlepool, Whitby, and Scarborough and killing more than a hundred civilians. Mm. On the Western Front, the French launch their first major offensive against the German lines. But the First Battle of Champagne leads to small gains at a cost of 90,000 mm. casualties. When they come up with these battle names? While in the Caucasus, an Ottoman offensive through the mountains in midwinter ends in disaster at Sarikamish. Turkish casualties total 60,000, many frozen to death. 
on the Western Front. That first Christmas is marked in some sectors by a short truce and games of football in no man's land. The killing zone between the trenches. Mm. This is definitely epic. Man, I gotta I gotta tune in to the other episodes now, man. It just I, I I think about this too. Like this is just 1914, and I know I have a bunch of subscribers that probably may be born 50s, 60s, 70s, and that it's like, man, that wasn't too long ago, especially for you, possibly being a child teenager. That wasn't too long ago for you and seeing like just how everything is now. It always interests me because, like, even now, it's just, what, a little over 100 years, 100 years ago, you know, like, 100, what, I'm doing my calculations, right, Uh, 2014, 6, 108 years ago, so it was like, man, all this stuff went down, took place, Uh, I know my great-grandfather was was alive around this time, because I want to say... He was, I want to say he was in World War II, I believe. I believe. I know he was in the military. I didn't get a chance to talk to him much, but I know he did serve for, of course, United States. But I believe he was in that one, in number two. But just go to show, like, man, you're alive with people that were still alive around this time and just where everything conspired. Because a lot of people lost their life, too. Like, it's, man... But this is always like interesting stuff, especially when you get down to history and really learning and knowing. Like it's always interesting because it's like I said, like not too long ago, too too long ago at least. You know, still people alive that probably experienced these things. So, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Definitely thank you guys for sending me this one. Definitely got to check out. I guess it's not in parts, but they got it by the year. So I think the next one, 15, 16, 17, 18, or something like that. So they, they got it by the year. So definitely got to check that out. And, hey, this was epic. This was very epic. But that's all I have for this video. Hit that subscribe button. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.